Welcome to Nina's Kitchen. Today I will be making homemade chocolate turtles. The first step is the caramel. So I take a can of condensed milk. I put it in a, if you have a double boiler, the right size, you can put it in a double boiler with some water in the bottom. I'm just using a pan here. I put my condensed milk in a, uh, just in a, a kitchen utensil bowl. And I put my bowl over top. I put my water on the, um, I put my water to boil. And it, uh, you, you put that on uh, down to a medium and you stir for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how rich you want your caramel, but that is how we make the caramel for the turtles. And that will be step number one. Step number two, I take my pecans and I put them just in a little cast pan or on a cookie sheet and I put them in a preheated oven on very low, um, 200 degrees is good, for about 15 minutes to, to 30 minutes, depending on how toasted you want your pecans to be. You can use any other kind of nut you would like. Step number three, we start to melt our chocolate. I like to use this, uh, just this Belgian chocolate, but you can use uh, chocolate Merkels. They're small medallions. You can buy Belgian chocolate medallions from a bulk food store. Uh, this is what works for me, and this is the method that I use. Uh, so what we do, um, what I do is I take my chocolate, and I melt chocolate. I put a few in here at a time and my water is already, has already come to a boil and I've reduced it down to a medium and I just slowly um, stir this and keep an eye on it and I slowly stir it until it gets to a very nice milky consistency. You, you can use a, a milk thermometer, a candy thermometer uh, for this process to get to the right temperature. I don't have one, so I just use my eye and I get it to the right consistency, watching not to burn your chocolate. And once it's at the right, um, once it's nice and smooth, I move it over into, into, uh, into this tool here. Now it's okay to, you can just use a measuring cup and pour your chocolate into your uh, molds. But um, I have uh, this, this tool that I've recently started using. Um, that, we'll, that we'll use today. So right now we just keep an eye on this. We just keep stirring this, getting our chocolate ready. Uh, meanwhile, our pecans have already come out of the oven. They don't take very long at all, just lightly roasted. And uh, I'm stir still making my caramel here. I give this a, a good stir. This is on a, a medium heat as well, just taking its time, slowly making that caramel. And uh, I'll see you for the next step. I continue to stir the caramel as it slowly uh, condenses, the color gets darker and at what point it is ready is up to you. This is still probably going to take another 15 or 20 minutes. The next step is we fill the, our molds with the, um, with the chocolate and once we have them a thin layer in here, I put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So I'll show you how this process goes. I put a small amount in, and then I move my tool around to make sure that I get the chocolate, add a little bit more if I need to, and I get the chocolate into the legs and into the head of the, to form a cavity. In the cavity, we want to have enough room for our pecan. We wanna have, or, or the nut that you're using. We want to have enough room for our caramel and we want to be able to top it up. This can be a bit tedious when you haven't done these for a while if you want them to uh, be, because this is something that takes a little bit of uh, extra work but it comes with practice. If you make them too full you're not going to have enough room in your cavity for your filling. When you put the chocolate in after this first step here, when you put it in the fridge to solidify it, the idea is to uh, create a, a firm cavity that the chocolate will, uh, will form um, before you've added anything else to it. And in that way, it will uh, seal it. So here's the first one ready to go here right now. What I'm gonna do is give it a bang 
just to get any air bubbles out and they look fine to me if you needed to fix these up you could at this point but uh, I put these in the fridge right now for about 30 minutes I move on to my next step and I just fill my molds uh, one at a time put them in the fridge The next step is to take the caramel that we have made on the stove and I've put it inside this unit I've washed out again, which you can use just your measuring cup for. And I take a little bit and I put it in each unit and I use my knife to control it. You just want a small little bit of caramel in each one. And as you put each one in, you move on to the next. You fill every one of the cavities Our next step is to add our toasted nuts. So here's the pecans here. I like to add uh, a pecan right on top of each one and I like to uh, flatten my caramel down. The caramel, this caramel is actually pretty hard. Um, you have an option of using, you can use a commercial caramel if you like. It's not as delicious and quite often it will ooze out on you. So when you make your own caramel, which is it just does, it doesn't take too long, but making your own caramel will give you a, definitely a, a better product and your caramel will not ooze out of there. You can see my caramel is actually quite pale, the one that I made here. And um, the longer you, the longer you uh, cook it in the double boiler, the darker it will get and the thicker it will get. Once I've done this uh, part here, we then take the chocolate, which I have melted another batch of uh, chocolate to use. And I'll use my tool here again that I had just used for the caramel. And I will do one more layer on top of the um, pecan and caramel. They go into the fridge for maybe about an hour, just until they, they solidify nicely. And then we will be popping those back out. And it's important to leave them long enough that they're not going to give you a hard time when you're trying to pop them out. So give them enough time to cure properly. Once we have the chocolate over top, we take these uh, and we put them in the fridge for about uh, one hour or even longer would be even better. Um, until they form nicely, until they solidify. And it's time to get our turtles from the fridge. And these turtles are a specialty of my mentors and I am making these today for somebody's 50th birthday. So if you're turning 50 today, I am headed your way with these. So I want these pack. I want to package these um, in a way that I could give my friend the plate um, and make it look make it look uh, decorative and uh, leave her with something that uh, she gets to keep as a gift and also that she has the um, homemade treat to keep as her uh, birthday gift. So she gets a double, it's like a, a, a double gift. So I, I took a, a deviled egg platter, which is uh, something that I love having around the house. I use it for many things. And it'll fit 12 turtles around this way. And then I'm gonna try and fit a few more in the middle, depending on how it looks. I'm thinking I could get maybe another three or four in the middle there, maybe five. <clears throat> If they're not popping out properly, that means that you haven't left them long enough. And what I did here is I just took some, uh, just some uh, tissue paper and I just made a little design and um, put some, uh, 
saran wrap down that I'll wrap around. These are a great treat to have at any season. People love receiving these. It's personal. People feel <clears throat> thought of because I mean, like for Dana, Dana's turning 50, which is a big deal. A 50th birthday is a big deal. And um, when we're invited, it's like, of course we'll be there. And when you think of trying to take something special for somebody, this is a, a super gift that I think will be well received. So then I will try to wrap this around. I have never done this before, so I'm just working as I go with this. And I will tuck this under, tuck this under, and hopefully I'll have something that looks good when I'm done, my homemade birthday treat. And I have some ribbon right here. There we go. And this is, uh, these are my homemade chocolate turtles. And thank you for joining Nina's Kitchen. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you again.